What's up guys? This is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so in this topic, I'm going to teach you how to add links to your Navisworks Manage 2018 model. Okay, so let's say for example, you are going to handle a model to a client that wants to manage their facility. Okay, so wouldn't it be great? If that individual could just walk into the model, walk over to an object such as the rooftop unit, and then uh, select it and get the specs, warranty information, photographs, or website, and drawings for that item. That is actually what we are going to do. So we're going to put a link to a model. Okay. So what I need to do is I'm going to make sure that my selection tree is turned on. Okay, and pin. So if I ex uh, expand this one, I'll be able to see the links from there. Anyway, um, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to zoom in my model to this portion here. Okay, where's my orbit? This one, I'll orbit like this. All right. Okay, then I'm going to hit the, hit the escape. So I'm going to select. Right, then I'm going to select this one, which is actually my AHU301. Okay. As you notice, after I selected my AHU, it digs my selection tree and it highlights the AHU-301. Actually, if you're going to right-click this, there are other options here that you can use to select an object. Like, by default, Sel uh, set selection resolution to last object is selected by default. Okay, so that is the last object from the selection tree. So if I'm going to select here, uh, set selection resolution to first object. Okay, and then I'm going to escape, right? So if I'm going to click this, you will notice it moves up one step higher, right? See this one? So that is actually my uh, first object. So if I'm going to select set selection resolution to geometry, if I click this one, okay, and then I'm going to escape again. So if I'm going to click this one, notice what will happen to my selection tree. I'm going to select this. So you will notice it will dig deeper to select the composite part. Okay, so I'm just showing that you can actually select your object in different options like select resolution to file escape you click so it will highlight the file itself right so if i'm going to right click now i'll select here set selection resolution to layer so i'm going to escape i'm going to click this one so you will notice it's by layer right okay so by layer so right click set selection resolution to first object Click outside and then I'm going to click this one. So it will select the first object. This is the last object. And then this is your uh, geometry. Okay, so that is your geometry. So if I click this one, it highlights the geometry. All right, so this is your file. Okay, and then this is your layer. This is your uh, first object, last object, and then that is your geometry okay so you can set up the way you select your element from your selection tree okay now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure that this, uh, this is set to first object okay so i'm gonna select this one so that's the first object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add link to my uh, equipment okay so as a facility manage manager i would want to uh, put an information to my equipment so that every time I select it, it shows me the picture, it shows me the warranty, it shows me some uh, information, the website, and drawings for that particular item. So to do that, you need to add a link. So to add the link, you just need to select the object, and then you right-click, and then you'll be able to see here the links. And then you can select here, add link. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, and then after that, you just need to 
uh, put a name. So let's say, for example, this is the photograph. Photograph. Oops. All right, and then I'm gonna take a look at the link. I click this one. Okay, oops, by default it is set to HTML, so just make sure image is selected here. All right, so this is the image that I want, so I'm gonna select this and then I open. So there you go. Okay, so I'm now going to select here, okay. All right, so I now have the link on that particular object. So if I'm going to right click this, there's the link. And then you can see here the photograph. So if you click this one, it will now show you that particular photograph. Right? Isn't it that great? Okay. So actually, so in conclusion, this actually really makes the facility managers happy and can start to set you apart from what you are handing over to the client. Right? Okay. And by the way, you can also... Uh, highlight the links in your project by going to the home tab display panel and then you can turn on there the link so if you click this one you will notice uh, navis works will show you all the links that you have in your uh, project okay so these links that you are seeing here right now these are the links from the navis works itself okay so if you are going to click that it will open you a link actually but the link is empty so no need for you to uh, do that so this is what i have created so the photograph right okay anyway that's how you uh, turn on the links in your project so i'll just turn this off okay so basically that's it for our exercise so that's how you link an uh, information to your object and also, uh, that is how you select an object that uh, also affect your selection tree. Remember these options here. File, layer, first object, last object, geometry. Okay? So hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so once again, don't forget to uh, like my videos and subscribe to my channel. All right, thank you so much and have a nice day.